Well, Brock and Bodie Tenney, it's a delight to be back with you uh, on CBN News. Uh, it's, tell us about your latest series. It's called The Elijah Chronicles. The last book in the series was called A Final Witness. Tell us about why you wrote this uh, series. Yeah. Well, we were particularly blessed when Pastor Ray Bentley contacted us and he said, I have an idea. I want to start exploring uh, prophecy and end times things. And would you help me put a book together? And as the discussion progressed, uh, we realized and he realized and, and his wife Vicki realized that it was much bigger than could be told in any one book. Uh, and the decision was made to turn it into a series. So it became a five book series. Uh, and rather than it just being a prophecy text, which, which Pastor Ray was certainly capable of writing, and he has previous experience doing that, but that it would actually have a wider impact uh, if it was in a fictional form, because people then can, the readers can relate to characters actually experiencing the events rather than just reading about them. So that's the origin of the series. Yeah, and so the, the, um, the phrase came to be, step into the story. And we love it. You know, our phrase is everything means something. And boy, does everything mean something in scripture and uh, with what's happening today. So um, so we just stepped into the story and went visiting uh, different, you know, biblical times uh, and, and situations that were real in scripture and just took our readers right with us. It was it's it's been quite an experience. It's been wonderful. Yeah, and the character you use is Jack Garrison. And when I've been reading some of the books, uh, especially the descriptions are here in Jerusalem. I live here, and I was <laughs> by the descriptions you had, and uh, I felt like I was being brought into the city that I live in. Tell us about Jack Garrison. How did you use him as sort of the the main character in your novels? Well, a uh, great name. I mean, it's a great name. And I, I think, I mean, I'm not sure, but I think it may be Vicki's uh, dad's name. I'm, I'm not sure about that. But uh, we just picked, Jack is a very strong name. And he, uh, you know, we, the, the maxim for writing uh, fiction, writing any story, is you write what you know. And so Brock and I have written what we know. We started in London and um, give it heart. You know, and so Jack has, is a man who had faith and lost it through uh, difficult circumstances. And uh, then the Lord brought him back and he discovered, you know, things about himself that were related to Israel and the Holocaust. And um, he just became, they develop, you know, it's like getting to know somebody that you're sitting across the table from. You don't know them the first time you have lunch with them, but by the time you had weeks and weeks and months and months and years, eventually you really get to know them. And so Jack's character is also revealed to us. And um, it, it just, it, it's just something that evolved and something that happened. And um, we love him. He's a great character. Mm. Brock, you do much of the research for these books. Uh, tell us, you know, the things that you went through as you researched uh, this whole series. Well, this is such an interesting combination. It's nothing like we have ever done before. Uh, Bodhi's writing and my research directed toward that has always been in terms of historical novels. And as you know about this series, this is a combination of historical events for sure, but also contemporary events and prophecy, all, um, we hope, seamlessly mingled into uh, one series of five books. Um, the effect on me was, you know, we would get a, a prophetic situation as Pastor Ray would teach it and deliver us some notes and meetings that we had with 